You are listening to Naturally Inspired Daily. Subscribe today at livenaturallyinspired.com. First up, phthalates. We talked about phthalates earlier this week. Um, It's good to be aware of them, especially in our beauty products, lotions, and things that we put on our skin like perfume. But did you know um, there's a new study out from Journal of Exposure Science Environmental Epidemiology? And this particular study uh, just came out the other day, uh, October 27th, talks about how they actually tested what kind of phthalates and novel plasticizers are in our food items, particularly fast food. So fast food consumption is associated with biomarkers of orthophthalates exposures. However, the chemical content of the fast food is unknown. So it goes on to describe the different ones that are inside. And some of them have been phased out, but they've been replaced with other plasticizers. Did you know that you were eating plastic? (laughs) It's so backwards in my mind because uh, unfortunately, key items like chicken nuggets, french fries, and those like cheese pizza, that's what we're feeding our kids, a lot of of Americans. I mean, those are kind of kid staple type food items. And this is actually what is in the food. It's plastic. And we're buying it at you know, high rates, and we're giving it to uh, little bodies. And and that just kind of freaks me out, because there's a lot of neurodevelopment risks associated with ingestion of these phthalates and these plastics. And if you look at the state of our health with our kids, it's it's not good. It's the worst it's ever been. In fact, uh, fatty liver disease is in child found in children now. Um, we have behavioral problems, and this this article talks a little bit about that too, with how these foods could be contributing to that. And this is you know this is a study from uh, you know a journal, a medical journal. So. Uh, they don't generally like to public publicize this stuff because of the way the food um, industry supports the, the drug industry and, and the FDA and whatnot. So, you know, when these studies come up, we really have to bring light to them because they tend to get buried. Um, so most people know that fast food is not good for us, but I think it's because they think it's fried or uh, full of preservatives, but it, it literally contains plastic. So that's your health watch tip for today. But when you go, you know, eating healthy and and maintaining a healthy lifestyle is so psychological because we can plant good, um, motivating uh, stories in our minds about foods that'll help us make better decisions. And so like for me, I gave up fast food years ago. I have absolutely no interest in it. It doesn't appeal to me at all. But one of the reasons why is because when I see the food, I think plastic, I think, I don't think "Mm, delicious food. I think plastic, what kind of chemicals are in there? So that's kind of like a, 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 a a direct association that I make with the food that has been, it's a pathway in my brain that that's the way I think. So a lot of people think that making changes in lifestyle is willpower. It's really not what it is, is education and that association that you make to the habits that you do. Um, So I hope that helps, you know, just pass that on these, these fast food, uh, Uh, places are, you know, they're quick and they're easy, but they aren't without consequence. Find amazing interviews with people like David Icke, Max Egan, Frontline Doctors, and more at naturallyinspiredpodcast.com. Connect with me directly at TammyCuthbertGarcia.com. Support our amazing team, help us defeat censorship and become a subscriber for only $5 a month at livenaturallyinspired.com. Find me on all social media platforms at connectwithtammy.com.